Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add all the essential pages to your store. It's very important that you add all of these pages to your store to build trust with your customers. So to get started, click online store and click pages. And we're going to delete the default contact page. Actions and delete. And the first page that we want to create is an about us page. So go here and click add page. And we're going to call it about us. And on this page, all you want to write is a simple about us page for your brand. So we're going to write, we created DaVinci because we wanted to create the best boxing equipment in the world. We found a lack of great training gear in the market. So we decided to create our own. This is obviously a very simple about us page. You should go into a lot more detail, but for the most part, you want to write, who are we? What are we selling? And why are we are selling it? So go into a lot more detail. You can use chat GPT to help you write this page. But yeah, it's important that you have this page on your store. And then once you're done, all you have to do is go ahead and click save. The next page we want to create on our store is an FAQs page. So go here and click create another page. And we want to call it FAQs. And then go ahead and copy and paste the FAQ template. The link to the template will be below this video. And here, as you can see, we have our FAQ template. Just make sure that it's formatted properly. So now it's been formatted properly. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in bold, put all the questions in bold. And then once that's done, all you have to do is go ahead and read through the template. Make sure that everything makes sense and fits your brand. For example, if you're selling in GBP, you want to make sure that, you know, this has been changed. Once that's done, go ahead and click save. And the next page we want to create is a shipping page. So go here and click create another page and write shipping. And then you can write due to high demand orders may take two to four weeks to arrive. Please email us at info at davinci.co for any questions. And then go ahead and click save. The next page you want to create is a contact us page. So go here and click create another page and call it contact us. And then you can write, if you have any questions, please email us at, and then put your store email in, info at davinci.co. We will respond to you within 24 hours. And then make sure you do. This page is extremely important. You need to have it on here so customers can contact you if they have any questions. Once that's done, go ahead and click save. And the final page we want to create is an order lookup page. This page will let customers track their order on your store. So to do that, go here and click apps and go to the app store. And we are going to download the track one, two, three app. So go here and write track one, two, three. And this is the app I want you guys to download. Click install and then click install. And here we are on the track one, two, three app. You can click yes, start my journey. You can enable dropshipping mode and they're importing all of our products right now. And then you can click close. Now, track one, two, three have a free plan and a paid plan. In the beginning, you just need to use the free plan. And now, as you can see, our tracking page has been generated. So we want to go below and we want to configure the tracking page. To do that, click page editor. And, you know, you can get started with the default page. That's all you really need to get started with. You know, make sure your date format is correct. The translation is correct. You can have product recommendations on your track one, two, three page to upsell customers. So you can leave that there. Then you have the estimated delivery time. This is a paid plan. You know, you do not have this option unless you pay for the plan. So in the beginning, you don't need it. Then you want to make sure you have blacklisted routing turned on. So now on your tracking page, any reference to China and AliExpress will be edited to say in transit to the next facility. And then go below, you have the custom status and you cannot edit these unless you have the growth plan. If you do not see blacklisted routing on the page editor, all you have to do is go here to add-ons and the section for estimated delivery time, blacklisted routing, product reviews, and custom status will be here on the add-ons page. And then you have display options. For display options, I recommend just putting tracking number. So you can uncheck these options. And then for map coordinates, you can put the destination address. For carrier details, you can put tracking info, carrier logo, and the tracking number. And turn off the link to the carrier native tracking page. And then go below, you know, leave the package contents checked, and leave the tracking details checked. Now in the beginning, as we're on the free plan, the track one to three logo will be showing on the tracking page. Don't worry about that. Once you're making money, 
Once you have orders coming in, you can pay for the growth plan and get this removed. And once you've done all of that, all you have to do is go ahead and click save. After you've done that, you want to go to the settings and make sure that all of your settings have been correctly configured. So go here and click settings and make sure you update Shopify's native tracking links. This means that whenever an order has been placed and customers want to track their order, it will be linked to your track one to three page. So go here and enable it. And then go below and make sure you enable the send shipping tracking events to Shopify. So Shopify can email your customers when the order is out for delivery or delivered. After that, I also recommend enabling the thank you page. So customers will be able to track their order after they've purchased. And then make sure your preferred language is set up. For most of you, it will be English. If you're selling in a different country, make sure that your language is added here. And the dropshipping mode should also be enabled. And now we're done with the track one, two, three page. Now, just before we go ahead and add all of these pages to our store, you want to go back to the dashboard and make sure you copy the link to the tracking page. Next, we're going to go to our online store and we're going to add all of these pages to our navigation bar. So go here and click navigation and then click into main menu so we can add all of these pages to our store. So first, I'm going to go ahead and change this to main menu in capitals. I think that looks better. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the home page to capitals too. And then I'm going to delete the native catalog page. Click remove. And the next menu I want to create is an about us page. Go here, write about us and connect the about us page. After that, you want to create a featured collection. So go here and type in featured collection. And this will be a link to our homepage collection. All the products we create should be added to the homepage collection. And then go here and click add. The next page you want to create is an order lookup page. Go here, click add menu item and write order lookup. And then copy and paste the URL from track one, two, three. And then click add. Next, you want to create the FAQs page. So write FAQs and put the FAQ page template in here. After that, you want to add the shipping page. Go here, write shipping and add your shipping page. And then finally, you want to add the contact us page. Go here, write contact us and put the link to the contact us page. And just to make this menu look a lot better, I'm going to add another menu item called support. And we're going to put all three of these pages inside that. For the link, it could just be the contact us page. And then click add. We're going to bring support up. And then we're going to put FAQs, shipping, and contact us inside there. And then we're going to go ahead and rearrange it. And now our main menu navigation has been created. So go ahead and click save. Next, we want to create our footer menu as well. So go back to navigation, click footer menu. And we're going to rename it to footer menu. And in the footer menu, we're going to add the FAQs, the refund policy, the terms of service, the privacy policy, and the contact us page. So first, go ahead and delete the search menu. Click add menu item. And we are going to add the FAQs first. After that, you want to add your refund policy. Go to link, click policies and add the refund policy. And then you want to add the privacy policy, type privacy policy, click add the link, policies, privacy policy. And then you want to add the terms of service, the right terms of service, link, terms of service policy, and then click add. And then the final one we want to add is the contact us page as well. And name, contact us, and put the contact us page as well. And then click save. And once that's done, I'm going to move the contact us just below the FAQs. And then go ahead and click save. And now our footer menu has been created as well. 